Okay, so hello, uh, good morning or good afternoon, depending as to what time you're watching right now. So I am very happy that majority of you decided to re-enroll in the second semester despite the financial hardship that we do have right now. So I do hope and pray that you will use this um, opportunity, blessing that is given to you by our Creator to really focus on your studies. Alright? So, by the way, I am Mrs. Japulme Bakod Marino. So, I am your Dean in the CCJE. So, I am currently handling Leia 1 Police Organization and Administration. So, before uh, discussing formally the contents of our subject, it is very important or imperative on our part to discuss the description of our uh, professional subject or course description. So this course provides the fundamental understanding of organization, management and administration, law governing the organization of law enforcement and public safety agencies, their respective legal mandate, the functions, the responsibilities, and its intra and inter-agency relations, coordination, and cooperation with other law enforcement and public safety agencies. So as you can see in there, the LEA-1 interagency approach means, clearly means, that it is also very apparent that our subject will not only focus on the PNP or the Philippine National Police, but rather we are going to tackle each agency that is under the first pillar of the PCJS. Speaking of PCJS or commonly known as the Philippine Criminal Justice System, there are five pillars, okay? So the first pillar is your law enforcement, which is our prime mover of laws is the PNP, then followed by the NBI. Then we do have other law enforcement agency that has a specific or special jurisdiction, just like the PDEA. PDEA is also an example of law enforcement agency, but then again, their focus is primarily on um, enforcing or upholding the comprehensive drug law. So more on drugs. Okay. Then another is we do have our Philippine Coast Guard. Yes, it is still an example of a law enforcement agency, but their prime duty is more on enforcing laws of the seas. So another is we do have the BFP. It is still an example of a law enforcement agency, but their prime primary focus is enforcing all laws, arson, which is anything that is related on fire. And of course, their, their function is not only to, to suppress fire, to extinguish fire, but also to help. Like for example, if somebody tries to commit suicide and they are in on top of a building, so it also it is also judgment. So as you can see, there are many um, agencies that is under in our first pillar. So again, there are five pillars, law enforcement, which is the focus of our, our, our discussion, Karon. And then another, the second pillar is your prosecution. The third pillar is your court. The fourth pillar is your community. And the last informal pillar is your community. But there are other authors who, instead of using the traditional chronological order of the pillars of the Philippine criminal justice system, they have decided to start in the community, then next to law enforcement, then prosecution, court, and com uh, corrections. Okay? So, let us discuss the course outline. So, first is principles of organization and management and administration. Another is organization of law enforcement and public safety agencies as provided by executive order 292 series of 1987 and of course other relevant 
law creating the agency. Another outline for this study is law enforcement organizations includes the PNP, as what I mentioned earlier, your NBI, your PDEA, your Bureau of, of Immigration, your Philippine Coast Guard, and then transportation security for seaports and airport security, your BFP, and panel laws on agriculture, product, wildlife, environmental laws, and other relevant law, law enforcement agencies. And then another, history of law enforcement and public safety agencies. Then powers and functions organizational structure of law enforcement and public safety agency and then lastly the law enforcement and policing system in the philippines remember guys that the this course outline that i have just mentioned and read to you earlier are the course outline for the whole second semester all right so before proceeding to the PNP, which is our first um, law enforcement agency topic, let us first understand no? and, and learn as to the origin of the word police. So the word police, this one, the word police originated from the French word. But then again, it was later adopted into English language. So the word police is derived from the Roman word policia. Okay, again, dili politeia, policia, which means the condition of the state or the government. Then the word policia, this Roman word policia, was then derived from the Greek word Pulaisha, okay? Then others pronounce it as Pulisia, okay? So, which means the government, or denotes rather, the government of the city or police. We, we need to remember that our Pulaisha or Pulisia, okay, is the portion of the government which deals with first protection of life and property remember guys when we say protection of life we need to understand that when you protect okay you are not only protect when you respond to a crime scene you are not only tasked to protect the life of the victim but you need to make sure also that you need to protect as well the life of the perpetrator when you respond to a crime scene if you are a police officer you need to understand that an effective no an effective respond to any type of 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 incident is that dapat there is no shedding of blood either either whether it's shedding of blood of the victim or of the perpetrator dapat wala but however, I know you have seen this in the television, in the news, and even when you browse in the internet, there are some um, responses made by the police wherein there is a shedding of blood, unfortunately. But then again, we need to um, understand that you need to protect both the victim and the perpetrator. Another is protection of property. So whether it's a government property, whether it's a private property, you need to protect it. But when you say property, you are not only referring to things that are movable or not movable, but also you are, when you say property, we are also referring to um, animals. Like for example, you do have a puppy. So the puppy is your property. So this is also part of the protection made. Another preservation of peace and order that is correct that is also the primary um, responsibility of our law enforcers another prevention prevention is to prevent 
Suppression is stopping the opportunity for a crime, a certain crime, to to happen or to reoccur, no, in this society. So we need to understand that the police are entrust, entrusted to serve and protect the public. To serve and protect the people. Whether that person belongs to the lower strata of the society, in the middle or upper strata in the society. we are. Uh, it is the job of the police to protect everybody, regardless of the socioeconomic status of the person. Whether he's poor or whether he's rich. So how are they going to protect? By controlling and preventing crime. That is the primary reason why we can no, we can see our law enforcers, particularly our police officers, that they they're they're doing a foot patrol, no, a bicycle patrol here in Dumaguete, which is conducted by the tourist police unit, or or a mobile patrol, which is normally conducted by both. Um, unit of the PNP here in Dumaguete, the, the Dumaguete City Police Station, and the Tourist Police Unit. Okay? By doing the, the by doing these this, this forms of patrol, whether it's in the form of beat, in the form of, of bicycle, uh, in the form of foot patrol, in the form of motorcycle patrol, in the form of an automobile patrol all of these are utilized in order to prevent or to suppress the occurrence or re occurrence of crime another is uniform officers are typically typically the citizens most common and direct contact with law enforcement that is correct whenever we see Whenever we see police officers, no, no, standing in the corner, doing an automobile patrol and other forms of patrol, automatic there is there is a feeling of an enhanced feeling of security. And remember, guys, in order for us to be comfortable, no, in order for us not to feel in danger, that but there is a balance, or, or shall I say, the the. The feeling of security should always be there. All right. So now I'll give you your first assignment. So for your assignment, all you have to do is to click this link that I have provided. So I want you to watch the the video presentation religiously. Okay. So this is all about the PNP history, and for your. Uh, Assignment, essay question, which is usara kabuo. Okay, I will read to you. Was the creation of the Philippine National Police constitutional? Yes or no? Explain your answer. So before I end this um, uh, video presentation, please do not forget to um, add our CCJE Cosca FB account. Okay, uh, the primary purpose why we do have the FB account para to notify you with regards to changes of schedule, with regards to important updates, with regards to the codes utilized by your classmate, and at the same time you can also air you no know, your sentiments, your suggestions, your comments, or any other concerns as long as it is related in terms of your academic. All right, so bye guys.